suffer all her life. There you go. Oh. Let's go, donkey. A good dog indeed, looking for a forever home, even if forever isn't all that long. In Great Falls, Virginia, Garrett Hake, WUSA 9. What a sweet story, and we sure hope Demetria finds a forever home. Yeah, I don't think it'll take long. I usually get pretty good response with things like that. If you think Demetria would be a good fit in your home, we've put an email contact in this story on our WSA 9 News app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, well, it's free, and here's your chance. Tonight, a Florida woman who runs a pro-gun Facebook page is recovering after, yep, getting shot by her four-year-old son. 31-year-old Jamie Gilt told investigators the boy accidentally shot her in the back yesterday while he was sitting in the back seat of their pickup. Gilt is reported in stable condition right now. She actually might be facing criminal charges because in Florida it's a misdemeanor to store or leave a loaded gun where a child has access. Right now, folks along the Gulf Coast struggling with deadly torrential rains that have drenched part of Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. At least two people have drowned, including a man in an SUV swept away by flash flooding. In northern Louisiana, dozens of roads are closed. Many others have been washed out, and the National Guard is helping to rescue families trapped by the high water. Seems like they've had it bad just all winter long. They have, and, and the high pressure is giving us 80 degree weather is holding that at bay, so it's mm. kind of raining day after day in the same spot. Oh man. That's the problem. Need okay. a change in that air mass, huh? Yeah, not much. It's gonna move slowly eastward. Uh, we're looking at the three degree guarantee. Okay, felt mm -hmm. pretty good. It was yeah. 82 though at Dulles, so I was a little bit worried. Let's see. And I was reading 84 in my car, but I went 79, and by golly, it was 79, Whoa. so it was a bullseye. So uh, 29 of the last 32, I'm going to go 80 tomorrow. And again, the record highs tomorrow are 78. They're in jeopardy. Live look outside, it's still 62. That's just weird. Our average high is 54. Uh, winds out of the south at about 10, so it's much more like June or late May. So tomorrow, we're looking at one more very warm day. Temperatures around 80. Bus stop temperatures, fantastic. That's a great day to walk the kids to the bus stop. Low 50s to mid 60s. Mm. Cooler, but still mild Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So we're going to have a temperature adjustment. I mean, it can't last forever, but our adjustment is going to go from 80 to about 65 to 70. Hmm, not bad. Early shower possible Friday, although that's looking more and more uh, less likely in the metro area. We'll see some showers in the mountains overnight tomorrow, but this front's going to move through pretty much dry uh, through our area. So 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, we are still in the 50s, 59 downtown. 54 in Gaithersburg, 56 in uh, Silver Spring and Bowie, and 56 also in uh, Sterling. Now, by 9 o'clock, we're back in the 60s, low to mid 60s at that. By 1 o'clock, we're in the 70s, and I think these numbers are low, at least 78, maybe 79 in Fredericksburg by 1 o'clock on Futurecast, even 73 in Hagerstown, even 73 in Cumberland. So it's going to be warm again from the mountains all the way to the coast. Uh, a little cooler by the bay, okay, but other than that, 77, 78 uh, in La Plata. And then by 6 o'clock, temperature still low to mid 70s. A few clouds back to the west, still dry. And then by 10 o'clock on Thursday, look at these temperatures, mid to upper 60s. We are picking up some showers in the mountains by 10 o'clock on Thursday. This front will roll through. And again, showers could get to Leesburg, Percival, Frederick, and points west. They're probably not going to get through the immediate uh, metro area. So overnight, clear to partly cloudy and mild. Low temperatures in the 50s, winds southwest at 10. Look at the day planner, 71 by 11 o'clock and 77 by 1 p.m. Friday morning clouds, maybe a sprinkle 68. I did lower temps a little bit on Saturday, brought in some clouds in the afternoon. Still pleasant mid to upper 60s. Next seven days. Sunday, a couple showers. Front goes back north of us. Uh, temperatures, uh, you know, near 70. And then much better chance for showers and storms on Monday. Back to 70 Tuesday, back in the mid 70s on Wednesday. And a reminder, move your clocks forward one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. This is a decent stretch here. You're on the roll. It is. Even our, even our adjustment is, is palatable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though we're getting robbed of an hour. Over yeah, there. even though, yeah, let's not talk about it's that. It's the most depressing thing. It is. Still, it's <laughs> not that bad. All right, so how does this sound? A nice Chardonnay to wash down some vine ripened tomatoes thanks to a brand new mm -hmm. law. DC companies that produce alcohol, they can now sell their stuff at farmers markets in the district. Ooh, that could be a little interesting. Now, this does not mean that your favorite market will turn into a booze fest. Topper. All sales must be for sealed bottles that are consumed off premises. Adam. However, the really? new law really? does allow vendors to sample items, you know, and as always, and Kristen does this, you have to drink responsibly.